Hey everybody, this is Frenzy Rumble with a quick video tutorial of how to wire a small 5mm or 3mm or even a 1mm um, LED light to your customs. Um, it's a very simple process. This here is a diagram. Let's zoom out. This is the basic um, principle that we're going to be following here. So we've got a switch, a power source, which is a battery. We're going to be using a small watch battery like one of these and then your LED light. So basically what a switch does, here's, a, here's an example of a real switch. It's got three pins on the back typically and when you have the switch button which would sit in there like that, basically it swivels back and forth from off to on, off to on. So off you can see the two pins are not conducting anything to the light but when in the on position you're actually creating a link. This is the metal. This is conduct from here to here, and it creates. It, it actually completes the loop, bringing power to the light and turns the light on. So it's a pretty simple process. Um, you can, in some circumstances, add a uh, resistor in your line, which would be in your negative line. Um, I didn't really specify in here which which would be the negative line, but a resistor kind of resists a little bit of the power from going to the light. So you could actually dim out the LED light using a resistor. Uh, that would be for another time. So basically for this tutorial, what you're gonna need is solder. This is just a common solder, water radio shack. Um, wiring, in this case I'm using electromagnet enamel plated uh, wire. This is a very thin gauge, great stuff for um, customs because it's flexible and it's easy to work with and it's very cheap actually. And I've got some modeling clay. And um, I got my LED lights, which I buy off of eBay. Um, usually you could buy these in packs of 30 or 50 for a couple cents a piece. <clears throat> for this tutorial, these are gonna be blue and they're three millimeter. I've got a, um, a battery, a watch battery for testing. And I've got, in, in this case here, what I'm gonna use is one of these. This is from a dollar store toy. Um, it's really great because it has everything all in one. It's got the it's got the LED light, it's got the power source, and it's got the switch all built into the same circuit board. But for this example, um, what I did was I cut it down just a little bit. You can see I pulled out the original light and I trimmed it down a bit just for size restrictions. So um, that, that's basically the tools you're going to need. Next up is preparing your LED light. So what I'm going to do is get one of these lights out of here. I always test it just to make sure it works. So you get your battery, your watch battery. Give it a quick test. All right, so that works. Before doing anything else, you don't want to wire up something that doesn't work. You're also going to need wire cutters. I trim a little bit off of these pins just to save some space. And then what I do next is, this is a kind of cool trick, is I take my modeling clay and I jam my um, LED light right into it. This lets it just sit straight and solid doesn't move around much. When you're actually soldering, you want this, these pins to be as still and uh, motionless as possible. Um, next up, you're gonna take your solder gun and you're gonna prim each each one of these pins with a, just a touch of solder. This just gets them ready for the wires later on. So you can see now, each one of those has a little bit of solder on it. And then next up, you're gonna prepare your wire. Uh, depending on how far you're going with the wire, you should always go a little bit extra. I'm going to pull off about 20 inches here. And what I do in, to just to make sure that they're both the same length, one for the one side of the light, one for the other, is I pair up the end and I kind of meet them and then I tie a small knot. You can do this with any wire. This is nice because it keeps the two wires as one. And then I twist it like this. And I go all the way down. A couple twists here and there across the wire. This is just so you have one wire running through your custom rather than two. And then on the other end, I'm going to snip off the tip where it loops around. And that would be my other end. Now with this enamel coated wire, it's actually coated with enamel. And I'm going to take my exacto knife if I can find it. What you need to do is you scrape off 
the enamel. Just scrape it off. You want to make sure you get every single side, all the enamel. You need to be showing copper all the way across because if, if there's enamel there, the um, power won't conduct through it. So you got to really be sure to get off all the enamel. And then I'm also going to tie a knot on this end. So you got your two here. See if that focuses. And then on the other end, you're going to scrape off the other end. Even them out with a knife. And then scrape. Next up, I'm going to power the, sh the um, switch and batteries. Uh, I'm going to prim them with uh, solder. So basically you have a switch and one end, one of those pins in that switch goes to the negative side of this battery pack and the, pos the other end goes to the positive side of the battery pack. You can see the solder on this end. Um, sometimes it's a little tricky getting a battery casing that you can't solder directly to, ba to the batteries. You'll, you'll, if you try, you'll learn the hard way that you can't, they explode. Um, so basically this, this is all in one this switch goes to these batteries and then out here on this end I've scraped and exposed the copper um, ones for positive ones for negative so I'm gonna pr place this on my clay and that kinda just holds it in place as well and I'm gonna prep each end of those those exposed copper areas with some solder so now that those are soldered that's good you gotta be very careful with the solder gun. Don't breathe in the fumes, um, and don't burn yourself with it either. So, so we got my two um, wire ends here. We're gonna go back to this battery. To the, actually, I'm gonna do the, the the light first. So we're just gonna solder one end first, and give it a second to dry. Then the other one. solder dries in a matter of a second or two so we'll pop that out that should be good to go uh, this is another stage that I actually test the lights to make sure everything is conducted well and in this case it's not so we'll see and that's probably because there's a little bit of enamel showing so I've confirmed that my battery works and my, I'm sorry my lighting works here my ends are connected or scraped well so there's wire exposed and then I'm going to wire these two ends right to here to, to those two right there so like that it's a 50 50 shot I'm not sure which was negative which is positive it really doesn't matter as long as it works and then you solder to here And that's pretty much it. So you got your working LED light, and then you got your switch right here, which turns it off. And turn it off and turn it on. And that's pretty much it. And this is pretty solid here, so soldering is very, very tough, so you can see. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this end is going to go into um, a customs head. And then this end is going to go somewhere conspicuous on the custom itself. And then I've got enough extra wire here that I could kind of stream it through the figure and glue it into place or whatever needs to be done. And that's pretty much it. So uh, there you go, basic LED wiring tutorial.